Michelle, when can I start formal training? All right, I totally get it. You're really eager to get started training your dog and turning them into a dream dog. I love it. But let's just take a moment to make sure your training plan agrees with your dog's brain development. So if you're out of sync, you might just be confusing your dog or make more work for yourself in the future. So today, we're gonna go through the first few months so that your dog is home with you. And then we're gonna talk about the best things to teach your dog and when, and also what not to do. If I cover something that just doesn't make sense to you and you have more questions, I just want you to pop them in the comments below. We do respond to every question. Now I'm gonna assume that you're bringing home your puppy around eight weeks of age. She probably looks and acts a lot like a little furry potato. And you're probably seeing a lot of sleeping, some adorable playing, and not a lot of room in the schedule for training. Well, you're right. At eight weeks old, she's really not ready to start formal training or teaching her cues and skills. But just because we aren't doing obedience training, it doesn't mean that she's not ready to learn. So when your puppy first comes home, I want you to focus on building a relationship. That means starting to pick up on her patterns of communication, her potty habits, when she seems to sleep, and when she's more active. This is the beginning of your career as a puppy detective. Now the human will be 100% in charge of getting her out for potty breaks or preventing the accidents. She has no idea about going potty outside just yet. So at this point, we're gonna take her out at the right times to start to build the habit. Now, if you haven't accessed my free digital new puppy starter kit to guide you through potty training, check out the link below in the description for that important resource. Now, I want you to hand feed your puppy for a lot of her meals. This is gonna help you establish that good things come from you. And it's gonna also help you establish you as a trusted and important person who she pays attention to. Now, we aren't gonna teach her any obedience cues just yet, but you can actually start to pick your marker word. I use yes because it is very distinctive. So every time you notice your dog doing something that you like, I want you to say yes. Then I want you to follow it up with a piece of kibble or a treat. This is called capturing, and it's how we teach our dogs what we like, even before we teach them specific cues and commands. Now I've been fostering this little cutie named Lady for the last few weeks, and I started implementing the marker word with her right away. She's not really ready for the advanced skills like come and stay, but I do reward her when she does things that are similar to what those skills are gonna look like. Yes. So keep in mind that your puppy really has no idea what the rules are for living in a human world. Over the next few months, you're gonna teach her that. But in the meantime, you still wanna set her up for success. So the best way to do that is to puppy proof her area so she can't start bad habits like chewing furniture or shoes or power cords. And you can watch the schedule closely so you know when it's time to get her out for potty breaks or when it's meal time. This is also so that you can prevent an accident or a hungry puppy meltdown. Now the schedule can also clue you in as to when it's time for another nap, which can help you prevent more puppy meltdowns from being over tired. So at this age, she needs about 18 to 20 hours of sleep in a day. Is your puppy getting enough sleep? Also at this age, we're going to want all experiences to be positive. So no neighborhood walks just yet. We don't want her to go down any busy, loud streets or even in pet stores either. Now you can start to expose her to new people and things in your house just right now. As soon as she comes home, I want you to start crate training too. Now you may not get all the way there in one week, but if you start building up a positive positive association with this right away, it shouldn't take you long before she's snoozing in there with the door closed. And start luring her in there with the training traits. Luring is actually how you're gonna eventually teach her any new skill. So for now, it's just helping her learn to follow the human hand that contains the goodies. You can just lure her for short distances for now. This is gonna help get a feel for the pace that she needs to go at to get your own training mechanics smooth. So even though we're not doing any formal training at this moment, you can see she's actually gonna be learning a lot. So focus on that for your eight week old puppies. It's gonna pave the way for some great training in the weeks to come. Now at nine weeks, your puppy is gaining some confidence. We love that, but that also means that you might need to increase your puppy proofing and be more mindful of that schedule. So get into a good habit of thinking ahead to prevent problems from forming. It's a lot easier to teach our puppies the right things than unteach it if it becomes a habit. So for example, Lady's part kangaroo, I am totally sure of it. She's super bouncy. So the minute she came home, I started playing the four on the floor game with her. This rewards her for keeping all four paws on the floor when she greets me. 
Now, she doesn't know down or off yet, but she's really getting the picture that greeting humans without jumping is very rewarding. At nine weeks, you can start with some simple games that are easy for your dog to succeed at. We built our online course in the order in which you can play the games with your puppy. So we start with the fun and easy ones like name game, collar, grab, and bump it. These are going to help you develop good training mechanics and start to establish you as the teacher. You are not the alpha. You are not here to dominate your dog. And that whole thing is totally a myth. But you are here to teach your dog in a kind and loving way. Also at nine weeks, you can also start to involve other family members in your household with the training, as appropriate, of course. Toddler children probably can't be too involved in training, but starting around the age of seven, you can usually involve your kids. And it is best if you teach the puppy first and then teach your child on what to do. Based on the things your puppy learned last week, you can start to increase the difficulty level. So if she knows her name, you can start to call it from a little further away or when she's not looking at you. And you can start to work on a few easy skills with the TV on or the window open to create a little more difficulty with different scents blowing in. I want you to increase the difficulty level very slowly, however. Now the next phase, between 10 to 16 weeks is a little more broad because all puppies learn at different rates. So if you've been working on some things at the eight and nine week mark, you're gonna start to figure out what makes your puppy tick and some good techniques for teaching. Remember, you are learning too, so it's also normal to falter just a little bit at first. But with practice and a little guidance, you're gonna be good at the training skills too. Between 10 to 16 weeks, you can start more formal training games, including giving the dog a cue and asking for a skill. You're gonna use the same progress for each new skill. So we're going to lure it and use a hand signal. Usually the lure is the same as the hand signal. So for example, if you're luring sit, you'd have a treat in your hand and you're bringing it up and over the dog's head. The dog usually follows it with their nose, which causes their butt to go into a sitting position. And when it happens, you immediately say yes, which buys you more time to get out that treat. Reward the dog with a piece of kibble or a training treat. You're gonna reward multiple times if this is a new skill or you've reached some sort of breakthrough. So with time, you can start to fade the lure, just use the hand signal or use lures less. Don't try to get to this point too soon though. We always want to set our puppies up for success. So if you've been using the marker word consistently since eight weeks old, it's gonna to start to work for you here, even if you don't have a treat handy or if you need just a little more time to get one. The yes sends the signal to your dog that she's done the right thing. Within the 10 to 16 week window, it's also a good time to start cooperative care. Now there's a whole book about this process, but it's essentially desensitizing touch from the human. This is gonna be very important for so many reasons, including putting on harnesses, bath time, brushing, administering medicine, and so much more. Oh, and if you have a doodle, cooperative care is definitely important to start right away. During this time, you're gonna start proofing skills that were taught early on and are well accomplished. Probably the puppy's name and sit are really good ones to start proofing. This really just means that you're increasing the distractions even more. Maybe even working on these skills outside in a quiet area or in the garage with the door open. During this time, when you're working on a few more specific skills, I want you to make sure your puppy is loving the training. Training sessions should be fun. Now, when your puppy is loving the activity, there's a lot more learning going on. Now, around the 10 week mark, as soon as your pup seems to have settled into the new home and relaxed a little bit, I want you to start on positive exposure training. So this means you're gonna be taking her to places where she can see and hear and smell new things, but in a way that is positive and enjoyable for her. Now you've probably started this process just from the car or maybe even sitting by a window. The more you do it and pay attention to her body language, the more she'll start to accept new things with ease. This is a life skill. So I want you to build on this and build it in as much as you can. Now, if you need more information on this specific training protocol, just type exposure in the comments. And I'm gonna give you a link to another video that can help you with that. This is also the time when some humans might find that they just aren't quite sure about dog training and maybe they need just a little extra guidance. So if you don't have a lot of experience with dogs or maybe it's been a little while since you've had a puppy, now it's time to call in some backup. I do recommend having some kind of professional guide you and they can teach you how to positively reinforce and then also teach your puppy all the new things. 
Now, my course is a really great option to show you all the fun and easy training games that can teach your puppy all the things that she needs to know to live in your human world. Just a note here. If the training plan you find isn't 100% positive reinforcement and if it isn't by a fear-free certified trainer, just give it a hard pass. Once your puppy reaches 16 weeks of age, you might start to see some things crop up that you don't love. Teething is gonna be in the full swing at this age and that puppy compliance probably has been replaced with confidence, curiosity, and a lot of energy. And if you wait until 16 weeks of age to start training, you're gonna have a longer road ahead of you. So at this age, we're gonna start to see the dog get a little more distracted by the world around her. Now you might feel like she forgot all the things you've taught her. No, she didn't forget. She just is finding other things to be more interesting. This is also the time when humans might start to slack off a little bit on the training especially if crate training and potty training are going really well, like they should be. But hear me well on this one. Now is not the time to slack off on training. Now is the time to keep up with it daily so your pup can remember all of the skills that you've taught her and have a habit of listening to you and following your directions all the time. The good news is that her attention span is a little bit longer, so you can probably do the games for just a little bit longer. And you can start to increase the distractions a little more quickly too. This is also the time to start working on harder skills like leash manners, which eventually will turn into loose leash walking. You can also introduce the formal cues of stay and recall. And if you've done the pre-training of building up the value with you as the teacher, these skills should progress with ease. And her doggy brain is gonna be more developed, so she needs a schedule shift with proper exercise, which includes mental and physical exercise in a good balance. It's still really important to pay attention to sleep needs and make sure she's getting enough sleep. Her puppy brain is growing rapidly, and without sleep, she will not be able to process all that she's learning. Now is a great time to set up some play dates for your puppy as well. So if you've done the exposure training with other dogs, these really should go well. If you haven't done that yet, do the exposure training first before leveling up to a full play date. You can also start to offer some freedom in your home in small increments at this age as well. Again, we wanna set her up for success, so you're gonna wanna make sure she doesn't have any accidents and can be trusted with these new areas in and around your home. Now, if you want more info on giving your pup more space in your home and how to best go about doing that without destruction or potty accidents, we have a great video for you that you can watch next. Comment below if you think I forgot anything or if you need more clarification on anything. We would love to help you.